In this video, we are going to be making predictions for week 10 of the NFL season. And we're also going to be making picks for week 11 of the NFL season. reason why I'm doing two weeks at once is because the Eagles are on a bye. And I kind of want to rank them at some point in this video. So I will be doing week 10 and week 11 predictions. The first game of week 10 is a Thursday night football game. And they have the Carolina Panthers versus the Chicago Bears. Pretty much the worst possible combination. You have like the two worst teams in football or, t or two of the three worst teams in football going up against each other um, and playing. And it's just going to be a really ugly game, I feel like. I do think that the Bears are going to be able to slightly pull away with the win, but it's going to be ugly. Colts versus Patriots. This is like an... The Patriots have had like this very weird playing style where they were only able to beat the Jets and the Bills this season in close games. Patriots um, have beaten the Jets in every single game since 2015, though remember how Broncos snapped their streak, so maybe the Jets will snap theirs. In any case, um, you know, I, I do see the um, Colts winning this one. I mean, you know... Texans versus Bengals. I'm actually going to go for the upset here and pick the Houston Texans to get it done. Bengals, yes, they are on a, a four-game winning streak. But what you have to understand about the Cincinnati Bengals is how, um, you know, they, they start off the season poorly like they did last year. And one could say that, yes, they're pretty clearly going on a rebuild. But then you have to see how ugly their games are. Like their game against the Bills um, on primetime, not exactly the prettiest of games. They did have a good win over the 49ers. Um, Seahawks was not the most comforting of games. And then you have to, go, of course, go back to when they got squashed 27-3 by the Titans. Whereas with the Texans, you saw CJ Stroud have a record-breaking performance. Yes, they only um, won by two points, but again, they he led a comeback, and they were playing going up against a quite good Buccaneers team. Or, well, not a, a good Buccaneers team anymore. I mean, the Texans, yes, they did lose 15-13 to the Panthers, but they've actually been playing like somewhat well this season. And that's a a big reason why I think that the Texans might actually escape this game with a win. It's a controversial pick, but I just see it in CJ Stroud where I've seen like regression more in Joe Burrow. Saints versus Vikings. Very bitter rivalry between the two teams. Um you know, as you know, there was that Minneapolis miracle in the twenty seventeen postseason. That was really in twenty eighteen at expense of the Saints, um, and, um, you know, now, Saints have had a very good start, they started, uh, I believe 2-0, and the Saints started 2-0, and and, um, and then they regressed from there, they started off by, um, by, you know, being the Titans by one, being the Panthers by three. Then they lost to the Packers by one. Then they got squished by the Buccaneers, shut out the Patriots. But then they lost to the Texans and then the Jaguars. And then they beat the Colts and the Bears. Vikings, they start off 0-3 and 1-4, and which normally would mean no playoffs. But then they went on a four-game win streak. So it's very interesting. Both teams are 5-4 and four now. Um, and... I mean, the Vikings, they almost beat the Eagles in Week 2. If the if they got the touchdown and not a touchback, they would have won that game. I'm telling you, they would have won that game if not for that. Um, and looking at the Saints versus Vikings, I mean, the Vikings beat them last year. I am picking the Vikings. Packers versus Steelers. Um, so the Packers, yes, they did win last week. But they were on a four-game losing streak before that. Pittsburgh, meanwhile, um, is on a one-game win streak from the Titans. Did lose to the Jaguars. Jaguars are a very good team, though. Um, beat the Steelers. Beat the Ravens. Um, 
But then you know, you also think that they got squished by the Texans. So you know, it's not easy to predict this, but you have to consider the Packers are a team that like lost to the Raiders really badly. I am picking the Steelers to get it done. Titans versus Buccaneers. Ugh. Two um two bad teams again. I know this trend of me saying two bad teams is getting old, but that's really what it is. It's two bad teams. Um and looking at it, it for for the Titans, they're on a one game losing streak. The Buccaneers are on a four game losing streak. Buccaneers are three and one. They've slid to three and five. Titans were never really that good to begin with the season. So I am picking the Tennessee Titans to get a job done. 49ers versus Jaguars. I'm gonna pick the Jaguars because the 49ers have been on a three game losing streak. Um Ever since they lost to the Browns, they've not gotten a win since. They um they did reclaim first place because the Seahawks lost and they want to buy. But, I mean, like, they lost to the Vikings and the Bengals. They lost to two not-so-great teams. And now they're playing a powerhouse of the Jacksonville Jaguars at Jacksonville. I think that it's going to be clear that the 49ers, are, I think they, they, they're going to lose. Browns versus Ravens. It's going to be Ravens. Browns have been doing well this season. I think their progress slows here. Falcons versus Cardinals. Lions versus Chargers. Now, in the case of the Lions versus the Chargers, um, the Chargers did squish the Jets, and he did beat the Bears bat pretty badly. But you also have to consider some of their other games. They have not ultimately been a pretty team in any way, shape, or form. And then with the Lions, what you have to consider is that when you look at their games, I mean, like, they got squished 30 to 6 against the Ra- against the Ravens, and they had wins, yes, but the, Ra- but the Raiders aren't very good, the Buccaneers aren't very good, the Panthers are horrible, Packers aren't good, Falcons aren't good, they lost the Seahawks, they did beat the Chiefs, a very good Chiefs team. But it feels like a, an easy swing of schedule is carrying them. But if the Chargers are really that good, they're kind of around a, a 500 hovering team. I am going to pick Detroit. Giants versus Cowboys. Um, so I could pick the Giants, but it's going to be Cowboys. I mean, like the Dallas Cowboys squashed them 40 nothing to the last time. Commanders versus Seahawks. Um, I think it's going to be the Seahawks, who... I think you're going to reclaim first place in the division. Um, Jets versus Raiders. This is about a 50-50 split. I, um, and it makes sense. Looking at who the Jets are, it almost seems like they got lucky with their um, games and then they ran out of luck. But the Raiders, on the other hand, are they a resurgent team? I'm going to pick the Raiders mostly out of personal bias because I don't like the New York Jets. Um, so I think that, so I'm just kind of hoping that the Raiders win. But honestly, I, I wouldn't be surprised either way. I think the Bills will be being the Denver Broncos. What are the week two pick save? All right, now we're going to look at week 11 really quickly. Um, I'm just going to speed, kind of speed on through this because I really don't want to discuss this too much, but I think that um, Ravens will be being Bengals. I think that um, I think that the Browns will beat the Steelers because the Browns are better defense. Lions will be being the Bears. I think that the Chargers will be being the Packers. Um, I think the Dolphins will be squishing the Raiders. Commanders will be being the Giants, even though the Giants beat them last time. Cowboys will be being the Panthers. Uh, Jaguars will be being the Titans. Um, Texans will be being the Cardinals. Um, 49ers, they will be the Buccaneers. I think that we're going to see the um, Bills beat the Jets. The Jets beat them kind of on luck last time. Seahawks beat the Rams. Uh, I think we're going to see the the um, Vikings beat the Broncos. 
But now I have Eagles versus Chiefs. This is going to be a very, very good game. As we know, the Chiefs beat the Eagles tragically in Super Bowl 57. As of right now, the Chiefs are 7 and 2. The Chiefs are going into a bye. Eagles are 8 and 1. They are going into a bye. And a lot of these teams, their records, and therefore, what I think of the team for Week 11 is going to change beforehand. And that's why I was so reluctant to actually go in depth into these rankings. I was so reluctant to do that because, um, and I just made random guesses because it's going to be hard to tell. A lot of things of my perception of these teams could change from Week 10. But with the Eagles and Chiefs, they have not will not be playing week 10. So the Eagles will stay at 8 and 1, Chiefs will stay at 7 and 2. Now what you gotta realize is that they've both beaten very good teams, but they've also had ugly losses, both of them. I mean the Eagles lost to the Jets. Chiefs lost to the Broncos. So, it's tough. Ultimately, I think the Eagles are going to get their revenge. But it's going to be a very scary game that I hope Taylor Swift isn't watching.